If you didn't know this film existed, you'd have most likely missed it in cinemas upon its release. It bombed at the box office and didn't do much better on home video. I, on the other hand, definitely knew about this movie, as it was partially filmed at Avondale College, the school I attended in 1988. In fact, most of this movie was filmed in New Zealand, with both Fanuapai and Hobsonville Air Force bases filling in for the American base that the kids live on within South Korea. An excellent riverboat escape scene was filmed on the Shotover River, and the North Korean prison camp that the kids rescue their fathers from was purpose-built just outside of Queenstown and it still exists today in a deteriorated state as seen by these photos. My school friends and I were all excited to see a Hollywood movie come to our school and for a week in 1988, or possibly 1987, I don't recall the specifics, Avondale College was transformed into an American military base in South Korea. We also learned how much time it takes to make a Hollywood movie. The five or so days filming at our school resulted in about 30 seconds of footage in the movie, if that. Regardless of this, I found the film to be enjoyable and a recent rewatch has not changed my mind. This is a fun 80s action film that has a similar feel to 1984's Red Dawn, with a little bit of Goonies thrown in for good measure. The story is your typical 1980s action script. A team of US Navy SEALs get into trouble off the coast of North Korea during a top secret mission to destroy a damaged US nuclear submarine before North Korea can get to it. They manage to successfully blow up the sub and get the captain to safety before being captured and taken to a North Korean prison camp. Back in South Korea, the powers that be decide a planned rescue mission to extract the captured SEALs would be too high risk, so the kids of the entrapped soldiers join together, steal the rescue mission plans and sneak into North Korea to rescue their fathers. This movie is much better than I remembered and is well paced. The storyline is completely absurd and some of the acting are particularly wooden, but these are no worse than some of the more popular movies coming out of that era. The film stars, among others, Kevin Dillon, who had just starred in Platoon a year or so beforehand and I think his performance was pretty good. He was often overlooked for his older brother Matt during the 80s and early 90s. It wasn't really until 2004's Entourage TV series that he became more of a deserved household name. Charles Hayde also stars. He was very popular during the 1980s as Officer Renko in the popular TV series Hill Street Blues and had been to New Zealand earlier in the decade to be part of Telethon in 1983. The real stars of this movie though are both the Royal New Zealand Air Force and as always the New Zealand scenery. You can tell almost every shot of what has been filmed in New Zealand, and for me, that's great. I love the nostalgia of it. If you've ever been on to a Royal New Zealand Air Force base in the 80s, you'll instantly recognise the colour palette and building design. It wouldn't surprise me if they're still the same today. I also found it quite nostalgic to see the Royal New Zealand Air Force as I remember it. The Skyhawks from number 75 Squadron look great roaring across the New Zealand scenery, and I'm always a sucker to see Iroquois helicopters, more commonly referred to as Hueys. Some of the cinematography feels quite state-of-the-art for the day. I don't recall many other movies from this period using cameras mounted onto the tails and wings of aircraft the way they've done in this film. The practical effects and stunts are also very refreshing in today's world of Marvel movies and CGI behemoths. To me, there is something very satisfying in seeing well-performed stunts knowing everything has been done practically all in camera. Is it a great movie? Not really, but it is enjoyable. And if you do like your 80s movies, in particular of the action variety, then the rescue should be added to any playlist of movies you're wanting to check out.